Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel and this video will talk about 5 interesting facts about Asagryphon. Brassogryphon is a small European breed that came in America around 1900s and first Brassogryphon club was recognized in 1913 by AKC. So why this dog called Brussels Griffon? Brussels is a city in Belgium where originally Brussels Griffon came from and Griffon is wire coated. So Brussels Griffon or Griffon Brussela. A lot of people call it Griffin or Brussels, which incorrect. Correct way to pronounce this breed is Brussels Griffon or Griffons. Griffin, accordingly, Wikipedia is this legendary creature with the body, tail, and back legs of lion, the head and wings of the eagle, and sometimes an eagle's talons as its front feet. Like I said earlier, Griffon is a wire coated dog. Griffin is a mythological creature. It's not the same thing. And other thing, people call it Brussels. Brussels, it's a city in Belgium. It's not how we call it our breed. You don't call German Shepherds Germans. Second fact about Brussels Griffon, it's progenitor. Progenitor of Brussels Griffon was the street dog called Smout. There was two types of Smouts. One was the darker and one was the lighter. The darker coat Smout was imported to Germany and became progenitor of the Schnauzer. And the lighter coat Smout became Brasso Griffon. If you have a Brasso Griffon with a lighter coat before you start to clip the coat, so that's what it came from. And third, in my opinion, most interesting fact about Brasso Griffon that a lot of people mistake and that Affen Pincher in Brasso Griffons, it's a cousins. That Affen Pincher was progenitor of Brasso Griffons, which absolutely incorrect. Smout was progenitor for Affen Pinchers and Brasso Griffons. When people start to show Affen Pinchers and Brasso Griffons at the European dog shows, so one black and tan female was finished as Belgium Brussels Griffon champion, imported to Germany and finished as German Affen Pincher champion. Same dog. One country, black and tan Brussels Griffon, other country, Affen Pincher. Fact number four, Brussels Griffon originally had a long snout. In mid 1800, Pack was introduced to our breed and that's what gave Brussels Griffon that smooshy face like some people like to call it. <laughs> also, to Toy Spaniel were introduced to our breed. That's what gave Brasso Griffon that nice, beautiful upswing. And last but not least, fact number five, that Brasso Griffon can produce rough coated and smooth coated Brasso Griffons in the same litter. If you breed smooth Brasso Griffons to smooth Brasso Griffons, you only will have smooth puppies. But if you breed rough Brasso Griffon to rough or rough to smooth, you can have both rough and smooth. Also, they can be different colors, so they can be black and red and same litter. And that's my five interesting facts about Brasso Griffon. If you enjoyed this video, please give me some likes to this video. If you like my channel, please consider to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.